Hello, pleased to meet you. I'm Mr. Greaves, the boarding house master at Harrow Nanning. Um, obviously, as a new school, we are recruiting students to join our boarding department and get involved with the things that we have going on. Uh, I'm part of a four-member team. So currently at Harrow Nanning, there is me, Mr. Greaves, the boarding house master. We have Miss Smythe, who is the boarding house mistress. And then we have two matrons, Mr. Liu and Mrs. Yang, who are both our matrons who help look after the students on a day-to-day -day basis. Currently at Harrow Nanning, we are going into our second phase. So the first phase was introducing the students to the new school. Uh, making sure they settle in, making sure they feel um, content and happy and now we are really trying to focus on their academic potential. So Harrow Nanning is a new school in terms of the bilingual school, the first one in Guangxi. So as a boarding department we are really trying to push the English in the school to make sure the students are fully up to date with the English and making sure they can access their curriculum. So in the boarding house uh, behind me we have a schedule. Sunday, when the boarders first come in to um, school uh, on a Sunday evening, some of them like to play sport, so we have some football or basketball, but mainly it's catching up with homework, so making sure the students are prepared for the week and all their homework is done for all their teachers. And this is just a little run through of the programme that we are currently offering at Harrow Nanning Boarding. <coughs> on a Monday, Students have to pick English at least once per week because we want them to get involved with the English language and start having those conversations. So on a Monday they have English practice or swimming. Main focus is English where they will be doing speaking, listening, writing and basic sentence structure. Or swimming where they will obviously have some sporting activity and a break from their studies throughout the week at school. On Tuesday, we offer calligraphy, calligraphy with our trained calligraphy teacher, Mr. Chen, who again is trying to get the students to express um, their desires, what they want to do, but again, still focusing on our key ethics and Chinese culture. And they can also pick Chinese. Again, just to further help them with their studies, making sure they are academically progressing and making those um, progression that we want to see as teachers, but also the parents want to see. And then on a Wednesday, on a Wednesday again, we have English or badminton. What happens is students have to pick English either here or here because now we are in the second phase, like I said, it's an academic focus and we really want to bring up the English attainment of our students. So again, it's focusing on speaking, writing, listening and learning, again, to make sure that they are not held behind in studies if they are struggling with the English. And then on a Thursday, uh, on a Thursday we have the house event and the house event is just about getting the students involved together in their houses because at Harrow Nanning we have the six houses, we have Churchill, we have Attenborough, we have Chen, we have Lyon, we have Quizera and I can't remember the last one but they get involved in sporting events or music events or practicing in terms of competition within the houses because at Harrow we like to get some friendly competition between the houses to make sure that students are doing their utmost best to represent their house and their community. So, a quick run through with the boarding. The day-to-day -day running is me and the housemaster get the students up, we make sure they're ready to go to school, but we're trying to get them to be independent boys and girls. So, myself, I am on the boys' side, and Miss Smythe, she is on the girls' side. Uh, what we do in the morning is make sure that they have everything they need for school, but they're doing it of their own accord, so we get them into a routine. They know that they're going to get themselves up, they're going to get themselves ready, and Mr. Greaves or Mr. Liu for the boys will be making sure they have all their equipment, all their uniform, and everything that they could need for the day in school. They go to school, they have a full day of a teaching program where they have their breakfast, lunch and, um, at school, then we collect them from the school at 5 p.m. and take them back to the boarding house. When we reach the boarding house, the boys have around 15 to 20 minutes to get changed, just to relax into some casual clothing. <clears throat> By 5.30, we take the students back to the house, uh, from the house to the dinner hall where they have dinner, um, boys and girls together, 
and they have around 30 minutes for their dinner and then we take them back to the boarding house. After we return to the boarding house, they have one hour and 15 minutes to do their homework. And it's not just them sat there getting away with not doing their homework. The boarding house master, myself, and Mr. Liu for the boys are making sure they're doing their homework. Um, to start off with, they have the opportunity to do their homework in their rooms. But if they're not getting on, we put them in the main hall and make sure that they're doing their homework so they're not falling behind. Again, at the same time, we are trying to get them to talk English. Now, I am obviously an international teacher, I speak English, but Mr. Liu is a Chinese um, local in terms of speaking the Chinese language, and we talk to them together. So if they don't understand the English, Mr. Liu translates to Chinese, but again, we want to take away the Chinese bit by bit and make them more independent and feel more comfortable in speaking their English. But at the same time, I'm trying to learn the Chinese, so again, to make them feel comfortable. Um, so they have their homework for about, like I said, an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, and then they go into these nighttime activities. These nighttime activities start from 7.45 until 9 p.m. So with this, it's not homework as such, but it's again, they have work to do in these classes to make sure they're fulfilling their potential and make sure that they are meeting the expectations of parents, because parents have high expectation for their students and their English the high expectations of the school, because as a Harrow brand we want the school to do as well as they can and get their students performing as well as they can, but also themselves. We want them to take responsibility for their learning. We want them to be or want to be the best that they can be. It gets to 9 p.m. and at 9 p.m. grades five, six, oh, grade four, five and six start to get ready for bed. So again, they are making their bed, they are putting their uniform away, they are making sure it's all clean and tidy. Because again, as the boarding house master and the house matron, yes, we take responsibility for their actions, but we want them to start doing it. They, we want them to start knowing to make their bed, making sure everything is away, making sure everything is clean and tidy, as independent adults we want them to be. Um, so from 9 to 9.30, grade 4, 5 and 6, they get ready for bed and at 9.30 they get their nighttime snack. So we bring them either milk or whatever it is for their supper and then the boys go to bed. Now, boys being boys, I can't speak for the girls, may take a bit longer than normal, but they're in their rooms from 9.30, they know that they are getting ready for lights out and they can read for around 10 minutes until we go and turn the lights off. At 10 p.m., it's the same for grade seven. So it, from 9.30 till 10, grade seven, we'll be doing the same thing, showering, doing their teeth, making sure everything is ready for school the next day. And they are, again, becoming self-sufficient young men and young women to make sure that they know what's expected from us as their boarding house parents. But also, we would like to think they would start doing it at home and take some of the pressure off mum and dad. So that's what we want at Harrow. At Harrow Nanning, we are trying to become and make the students become self-sufficient young adults with a keen awareness of what we want to do in terms of our education, but what we want them to do as young people going forward and leaving Harrow Nanning.